So, Jesse, let me ask you this. So, you know, you said you had a little rough, you know, third, fourth grade, tad bit of bullying. You did some sports. But now you're full-fledged as an amateur, and you're fighting all these fights. Um, at what point in, like, uh, junior high or high school, the kids look at you like, man, don't mess with Jesse, man. He a boxer. Junior did people, high. Did, did people start talking about you being a boxer in school? Uh, junior high. Yeah. As I say, junior high in uh, either seventh or eighth grade. Uh huh. Seventh or eighth grade. I'm trying to remember because I got in a fight, and that's what <laughs> solidified it. Honestly. Yeah. Um. I got in a fight. I I want to say seventh grade. If somebody just messed with you just for no so reason. So I got in two fights. I'm sorry. I got in a fight on on yeah. the football field. Yeah. yeah. And seventh grade. Okay. I um. Uh, I got in a fight. And I don't know what happened, but I got in a fight, mm -hmm. and uh, I got my ass kicked by the football coaches. Because when you get in a fight, you know, you got to go through your parents, you got to go through mm -hmm. ISS yes, or in-school yes. suspension. You think my mom want to deal with that? <laughs> no, dude. No. So my coaches, since it happened on the field, I was the last one on the field, and I had to do the workouts. Mm. I had to do these things called air raids. You get on one side of the end goal on the end zone, and you run. You sprint. You got to be in a sprinting motion. And as soon as they blow that whistle, you dive down to the ground like a no, like a no, Superman wow. to the ground. Yeah. You you do a push up back up. You uh -huh. start sprinting again. And they could blow that thing back to back if they wanted to. I had to do a thousand yards of those. So oh that's about. God. That was about almost 10 times. Yeah, it was 100 yards. Yeah, mm -hmm. football. Wow. I had to do it 10 times. I remember I was crying a little bit. You know, I'm still yeah. a kid. Yeah, I'm yeah, crying. Yeah. That shit sucked. Yeah. I get done, and I, in my head, I'm like, this shit. <laughs> yeah. And sure enough, the coach, here you find again. Otherwise, you, you won't be able to do this. Oh, wow. So I said, all right. Eighth grade came around, and that's when I got in the fight. Um, it was a big old kid. Yeah. Big. I mean, big old kid. Yeah. Six foot two or something. Oh, wow. Um, we kept we kept talking shit, and uh, I'm trying to remember. What At really, that height and how big he was, was he considered a bully? He was class? considered a, okay. a heavyweight. Yeah, but nobody really liked him. Was he like a bully he, type person? Not really. He okay. just uh, had just a... Just want to pick he with you had, for some he reason. Had a, he had a mouth on him. Yeah. And uh, we started getting in a verbal thing, and then all of a sudden, um, I swung. Uh, I I swung at him. He swung back, and everybody's like, "Oh, oh, shit!" You know, the typical. We're in the locker room, man. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I get on his back, and I'm choking him out. I'm putting. Him, I put him in a rear naked. And I'm choking oh, him wow. out, and he's shedding tears. So everybody saw that, and it was like, "Dude, this guy's a bitch." Oh, and he's wow. shedding tears, and I'm yeah. hitting him. I'm having like this. I'm yeah. hitting him. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, all the coaches came in and saw me, and I, I pushed him off. Yeah. And they're just like, because this was a big guy. Yeah. They couldn't and, believe that. And you they, they were like, you know, they scratched their head. Yeah. And um, they separated us. They told everybody to get in the locker room. They put, then they, everybody started interviewing everybody oh, to get the story yeah. right, right? At that time, I was cool with a lot of people, so, yeah. so they, they kind of caught my. The bus, yeah, they didn't throw me under the bus, but yet it happened on school grounds. Yeah. Nothing. Nobody got in trouble. Oh wow. Nobody got in trouble. I don't. Um, I just had to do some extra cleaning. I had yeah. to clean school uniforms and shit. Yeah. Um, and one coach I remember pull, pulled me in. Yeah. And he was the old. You know how every school has that one old old coach yeah he's that old school uh -huh, coach uh -huh. pulled me in and he was a I still remember uh, Maurice coach coach Mauricio something yeah. like that yeah and he's like hey, you're a fighter huh I was like yeah he was a, he was in charge of like the the A team football guys right like the, the head right. honcho football uh -huh. guys, whatever uh -huh. the fuck that man yep you know cause to I me I didn't look at it like, you know if you had hands then you're a head honcho yeah he didn't, and shut up. He's yeah. just a good tackler. Right. But um, he got interested in me and just took me under his wing as, like, someone that, like, I could, he could be my mentor. Mm -hmm. You know, help me out, whatever, if yeah. he needed help. And uh, I told him, you know, I'm a boxer and all that. And shit, he showed me clips when he used to box when he was a kid. 
Oh, snap. And so he gave me words of encouragement. It was like, look. Yeah. He kind of helped. I think he helped me out to get out of that situation. Right, right. He put a good word in for me. Yeah. And I think that's what honestly yeah. happened. Yeah. I don't know till this day yeah. what happened, but yeah. I think that's what happened. Hey, the most important thing, that big kid, he never messed with you again, did he? Never did. No. All it takes for you to beat him one time and don't and, leave you and alone. Nobody fucked with me in middle school either. Yeah. And then that carried over to freshman high school. Yeah. That what happened that year what yeah. happened that incident somehow got word around yeah. into high school where all the other middle schools, you uh, know, yeah. you come from Creekwood, you come from Riverwood, uh-huh. you come from Tacita. Uh-huh. Uh middle school. Yep. And then you go into Kingwood Middle yep. High School, mm. everybody's there. Somehow some people heard about that. Yeah. But then that was when the list should light of I'm a freshman, now I got juniors and seniors trying to fuck me. They're what, how old at that time? Yeah, like 17, 17 18. 18. And I'm what, a little 14 year old, 15 year old kid? Yeah. I still had the hands, but it wasn't the same. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I uh, it carried over. I played football freshman year, and yeah. after that, everybody got big. Everybody yeah. got big as shit. Yeah. I quit. Went to track. I did right. track that year. Yeah. Did, foot, uh, did cross country, mm-hmm. then wrestled, then. Uh, senior year wrestled okay uh, junior year into senior year uh, wrestled. another wrestling I believe it's another sport where you gotta cut, cut weight, weight. Right? Yep. Yep. and I yeah. and I was like oh I'm used to cutting weight this will be alright nah man I wrestled at 38 I should've been wrestling at 32 wow I should've wrestled at 32 I did alright uh, I made varsity yeah I, I know how to wrestle. Sure. Uh, I like messing with the guys over at Maine that do the wrestling. Nah. I end up be like, shit, you know what's up? Yeah. I know how to do a double leg, how to do sweeps and stuff. Because okay. I mess around with everything. My mom put me a little bit in MMA right. when I was a kid. Right. And uh, I never was good at kicks, but I knew mm-hmm. how to wrestle and throw some punches down and get out of some jujitsu things. Gotcha. A little bit of everything, but my heart was always in boxing. In boxing. Always okay. was in boxing. Everything just kind of helped. To be a better yeah. athlete. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. So that's what. But yeah, after that. That was it. Yeah, after <laughs> that, that was it. So.